Hi friends, uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, launching a trial account in Informatica Cloud. How to uh, create a, a free trial account and how to launch uh, the account. Basically, the trial account helps you to explore more about uh, Informatica Cloud in a quick uh, interval. That is like they are giving uh, the 30 day span in that 30 day span you can explore uh, what are uh, the possible uh, you can um, uh, try out okay so according to the services you wish you to learn you can choose the free trial basically they are offering many services like I'm listing out like most uh, common services uh, you are interested like the data integration master data management and application integration side so this uh, this area or topics you are more interested okay and unlike earlier on-premises version you don't have to install the client side uh, power center or in, in informatica cloud because everything is cloud basically so the the uh, <coughs> the, uh, the the cloud side they are maintaining everything so um, so uh, if you want to control uh, the cloud hosted uh, 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 machine information everything so we can have uh, those services like yearly like administrator uh, like uh, the power center what you see like uh, the mapping workflow or monitor workflow or, uh, 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 workflow or reporting and uh, <clears throat> repository creations all those things uh, come under uh, uh, with a different terminology basically here like the monitor insights uh, data integration administrator they are giving the uh, the equivalent name it's not a big difference basically so <clears throat> so so oh, oh, when when you when you say the client said you, you are going to launch it in the browser or oh, basically the supporting secure agent uh, basically you have to download once uh, uh, you create uh, created the free trial account and the next step is you have to download the secure agent and followed by uh, the installation token you need to take down uh, once the uh, secure agent has been installed when you kick off the services you have to supply the installation token so once it is done it will recognize that account and it will uh, I'll allow you to start the services without interruption so from there on uh, you can take it forward for creating a mapping and uh, um, mapping uh, uh, um, uh, task flow and uh, so on you can do that okay so let us quickly jump in um, how to make use of this free trial account okay Informatica, you go to oh, okay so type that you can see that the very first thing uh, you can you can click you can choose any of it like I, I'm going to choose free cloud okay here so oh, here what we can do you can see in the top of it free trial okay so once you uh, come into this page you will see free trial click the free trial uh, option so once it is done then you can scroll it down all the way to the bottom and <coughs> okay so so once it is done then you can type your name for example I'm going to go to my name you can use your personal melody also not an issue if you want to give the uh, give the name you can give the name otherwise you can uh, 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 so for example I'm going to give my name as a username or you can choose the email id as also like again you can choose the role and share 
you can supply your number okay and the country in which from which you are going to access you can select the country details everything then if you want to see the notification everything can do that so then finally I if you want to receive the marketing notification selected I'm not selecting it and then the finally I will read and agree the subscription agreement is this cell tick uh, check mark that one and finally say start your free trial yeah once it is done okay uh, you'll be notified on your mail id this you can cancel it not necessary so once it is done you can go back to your mail id and see that see that mean this mail notification will come uh, to confirm the uh, confirm your mail id to verify it okay so you can simply open the mail and verify it okay you can supply your uh, password so you can create your password here okay if uh, you can set uh, any you can set to a security question here that's it and click marketing message if you want to select it select it otherwise you can simply submit it that's it okay so now once it is done then it will give you an option uh, to select any source or target system you are interested the basic thing you can choose only three so i'm going to select local csv amazon s3 and oracle okay i'm going to select it and on need basis uh, once it is done also you can add the connectors later on but this three system is most commonly i'm using like that i'm choosing it now okay and as I said before, like any, any recommendation things, the connectors, they will give you some use cases. Uh, we can skip it for now. Okay. As I told you, see, now you can see data integration, administrator, monitor, operational insights. So oh, it's like a, a workflow monitor kind of thing, operational insights and data integration is the mapping designing area, like your power, power center designer and administrator is nothing like a repository section so in which like you can use your creation and connection properties everything can do that and this is the monitor this is uh, insert will give an idea so what about uh, this uh, uh, the trends everything about the jobs which I ran this monitor it will give you the uh, job monitoring can do it but most commonly we can check it in data integration itself in our routine okay so yeah this is it okay but if you get into data integration now okay so uh, see uh, informatica cloud hosted we can check it out the administration services is running or not okay but in our case what happened uh, there is no uh, runtime environment is running okay we need to kick off so for that reason only you see here the three option on the administrator side generate installation token new runtime environment and download secure agent so in our case we need to create a, a new runtime runtime environment because we are created just uh, as a brand new thing okay so for that reason you have to download secure agent once it is downloaded and installed successfully then we have to generate an install token that token something we need to apply into the installed secure agent okay let's go and do it. so it is successfully downloaded now okay so now what you can do is go to the folder right click and run as administrator okay if it is asked like this windows protector on your pc click more info and you will see the additional option run anyway click 
click run anyway so open up this one and allow this application to launch it say yes so so let us minimize the other things So you can leave the folder as it is, you no need to change anything here. now the installation is almost uh, completed uh, now this one see here this is the part where i uh, what i told uh, once the securation download and the installation token also taken so now you need to supply the user id what you have created in the beginning as usual the uh, the login time what you're using the same user id so now you can copy the installation token and paste it here and register so you, you can see that it is successfully registered okay see once it is successfully registered you will see that okay uh, it will uh, uh, the, uh, the window will appear so you no need to worry you can close down this notepad okay Okay, so now So since it is registered, now you can refresh it here in the administration administration uh, services side. You will see uh, see now the uh, runtime enrollment is appearing f f by my machine and this one. So now let us uh, if you go get into the environment name, all the services are not up and running. It's starting up. Okay, you need to wait for sometime so once it is started so you are good to make use of it okay so it should give all the tick mark okay now let's try that again so you can close this okay so you can close down the secure agent uh, uh, and dub you can go or uh, always go to the service side okay under the services side if you if you try to find it out with an name informatica you'll see this informatica cloud security agent here running maybe you can you can double check that but before to that let us go back again and see the services is running or not okay it's still starting up so the best thing what we can do is we can stop it and start it from the scratch okay let us try to stop the services completely
this will take few minutes okay you can see in the background uh, if you refresh the shutters you'll see uh, it is with the uh, uh, red tick uh, red x mark with stop status and uh, so if once it is completely stopped maybe we can restart the services with the windows service side so that is the safer side to ensure the services are properly shut down and properly started okay so now you can see so one of the services is not stopped okay so now now you can see all the services have been successfully stopped now what we can do is we can do we can start the services again so now if you come back here again this will take some time to start okay 